Hello, I am Dr. Sarah Watson. I'm a senior clinical child and adolescent psychologist, and um, I am the founder and managing director at uh, Totally Psyched. And we're a private mental health uh, clinic specializing in working with children and adolescents. So what exactly is um, ADHD? What areas are affected in particular? Now, this tells you a little bit more about what it actually is. So we've got the name ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, but actually there's a whole lot more to it than that. There's something what we call, um, it's like the control center of the brain. That's the prefrontal cortex. And that's the part that's delayed. In children and adolescents, the delay is generally considered around three to five years behind. Um, and the areas that are affected, as I said, uh, is the control center. So what is controlled? It is behavior. It's attention. It's motor, like motor movement. Um, it's emotions um, and also uh, judgment. So there's a lot of kind that is encapsulated within that prefrontal cortex and its capabilities. So the area of the brain, the prefrontal cortex that is affected, that has a relationship with the different types of ADHD. So there are three different subtypes, all of which are called ADHD. So there's the inattentive subtype, the um, uh, hyperactive impulsive subtype and then the third one is both of those combined um, now the in terms of what they are the inattentive type used to be what we would call ADD but now it combines all of the predominantly inattentive symptoms um, including distractibility difficulty being able to sustain concentration for long periods of time all of which need to be significant departures from what we would consider to be typical abilities. Um, then also we have the impulsive hyperactive. So in young adults and adults, that's not running around and climbing everywhere. That's more being fidgety and having a sense of restlessness. And also for some can be more internal. So in their mind rather than predominantly in their bodies. Um, but also including physical symptoms. Uh, then the combined type is a combination of both. Uh, that means inattentive symptoms as well as hyperactive impulsive. Now, in terms of the stats and how many there are in each of the subtypes, there are uh, the predominantly hyperactive impulsive is the most diagnosed. Now we've got to keep in mind that a lot of these diagnoses are made in children and that's the more obvious kind too. So we do suspect that that might be a bit of an overrepresentation there because of the obvious nature of that subtype. And then we have the inattentive type and then less than that, the um, combined type. So in terms of what we know about ADHD, we know that it's real, we know it's neurodevelopmental, and we know that there are different subtypes. We also can understand now that it's what the area that's affected is the prefrontal cortex of the frontal lobe. Knowing this can help us understand ADHD.